Hey friends, tonight I am at Universal Studios Orlando a little bit later than what I usually am. It's about 7 o'clock right now, but the park is going to be open till 1.30 a.m. because it is a separate ticketed event. Rock the Universe, Florida's largest Christian music festival, and it's pretty interesting. They have a lot of different Christian music rock bands playing, and plus the whole park is open till 1.30 in the morning, and tickets were only $28 for annual pass holders, so I was like, why not? Let's go do this. And they actually have some official Rock the Universe merchandise, t-shirts with all the different bands on them. Like I said, I'm excited for Switchfoot. And then they also have a hoodie. $20 for the shirt, $40 for the hoodie. And a map! Yes! Thank you! A look up of the lineups that they have going on. And they even have autograph sessions. We have Switchfoot, Newsboys United, The Afters. And then, of course, this is Saturday. This is a two-day event. Uh, but I only bought tonight's ticket. And they have a lot of other stuff I'm interested in seeing, actually. Oh, no! And here is the main concert area. Looks like they're setting up for Newsboys United. And I know that Switchbook comes on at 11 o'clock. Not a big crowd yet, but I'm sure there is a lot of people here tonight. I'm not too sure of any of the other activities that they have to offer. I mean, I'm going to have to read the map. But this is my first time being here for an event like this. So I'm just going to have fun. But I will be joining up with some friends later who probably know a little bit more than me. I hope. One thing I think it's kind of interesting to point out is actually Universal Studios is making this a dry event. So they are not serving alcohol at any of the stands or in your favorite little pubs or bars, including Finnegan's. And I got to show you the inside of there because it's kind of scary to see it the way it is. When was the last time you seen Finnegan's like this? Huh, crazy, right? But they are giving away free samples of the new Coca-Cola energy drink. Look at that. You can have as much as you like. Thank you. A good reason why they're giving away the Coca-Cola energy drinks is because the Fan Zone stage, which is right here, is actually presented by Coca-Cola. And they have some musicians and some DJs. And then later on tonight, Coca-Cola Karaoke. That sounds like something I gotta check out. Oh, I like this little stage setup they have here. That's really nifty, isn't it? And I believe someone's on stage right now, so let's head over there and check out that little tiny concert area that they got in the alleyway. I'm not gonna lie though, this is like my fifth energy Coca-Cola though. I ran back out to the main stage in front of Rip Riding Roller Coaster because I hear one of the big headliner acts is coming on now. Yo, cross that line? Yo, this ain't your day. Yo, let's go Universal. I need my stuff. Get out my way. When you face pain or they take aim like a movie shoot No vest when they draw lines I'll be all sides feeling bulletproof Use my pants like a flash Came up from the asphalt Now we cruise, we about to blast off Resurrect, we about to pass off Know who killed it, cause the mask off Red like a diamond dripping We gon' make them splash Do some strong till I'm gone Tell them that's the fact I'm too lit, watch me hop up the I have never heard of that band before, but they are slaying it on stage. Like, they're rocking really hard. I think that's awesome. 
So we're gonna drift away from the stages and all the music acts and we're gonna see what Universal Studios is like on a separate ticketed event and they have all the rides open. Crowd levels seem a little bit low once you get further back in the park. Everybody's out front watching the bands and enjoying all the entertainment. Maybe the ride limits are just down. I don't know, I'm excited to find out. And I guess we'll start off and check out Fast and the Furious. I'm very excited. Turn down for what? Huh? Yeah. Jackie, super enthused. That's right. Samuel. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and it's been, uh... We'll start with the worst. We can only go up from here. Yeah. Start with the worst. We can only go up from here. I like that. <laughs> Wait time is 10 minutes. That's a little high. Wouldn't you say? Oh boy, party time. We just got off Fast and the Furious and look at it. it is absolutely dead over here. Usually this is the busiest part of the park right here, but it, it seems just quiet. Very quiet. And take a look at Diagon Alley. This is empty. Yeah. Pretty good. Wow. I mean, it it is a very low, low crowd. I bet you give it another hour or two, yeah. and there'll be nobody in here. And Borgen and Birch seems like it's completely empty in here. That's kind of cool because then you get to look at things and pay attention a little bit more favorite gift shop at any theme park right here i love it so much so quiet i don't want to disturb anybody a lot of people don't know that all these props and decorations in here are actually for sale that is really awesome i would love to get the malfoy cane right here it's 125 dollars that's pretty awesome. Or how about this? Look at that. That is 150. I think I'm gonna start a Harry Potter collection. <gasps> oh boy. Yep. $110. That is awesome. That's Lestrange and then Malfoy right here. Wow, I like that a lot. One thing I have to say about Rock the Universe, if you don't come here for the music, you can enjoy the park in peace and quiet. Like, it is really actually, like, satisfying walking around without large groups and everything like that. And the ticket prices are almost compared to, like, a Disney After Hours. Well, a lot cheaper. I think it's, like, $70. But, like I said, annual pass, you get $20, $28. And you get to have the park to yourself. Nobody's heading over to Men in Black, and it just seems so empty here. I really like it. Like I said, totally worth the $30, totally worth $70. Since there is actually no wait for Men in Black, we might as well take a turn and see if we can get a good score, but can't take the cameras in there, so we're gonna have to put them away in the locker. See you when we get back. And we just got done with Men in Black. I did pretty well, I got 150, but literally it was just a walk-on ride. I really, really enjoy it. I think it does need uh, an update though. I mean, it's well due. But for now, we're gonna make our way through Springfield and take a look. There is almost nobody here. I like it. Since I'm actually over in Springfield, I want to show you guys one of my favorite little nooks. When I say nooks when they come to theme parks, little places where you actually go to to escape the crowd. Tonight, that's not really a big deal, as you can tell, but it's good to point out in case you're here and it's very busy. Right here next to Lard Yad Donuts, you can see the big statue. If you just go right behind it, it's very hard, you can never see, but look at this. They have a little seating area down here, and it's actually really quiet and peaceful next to the water. I like this spot a lot. Not a soul down here. Usually when you do come down here during busy times, there's probably a couple of people, but right now there's nobody. Nice tables, you get a beautiful view of all the Universal Studios. I like it a lot. 
time for one of my favorite attractions at Universal and not a single soul over here. Nobody wants to ride ET. Nobody wants to phone home. Do we have to wait still? Look at this. Crazy. Mr. Morrow? Tom Morrow? Thank you. One of the best queues at any theme park, I have to say. I just love it in here. It'll never get old. We've made a complete lap around Universal Studios and now we're heading back out to the entertainment section and we've come across another stage. Wow, look at this. It's an impressive stage setup though, I have to say. Might as well stop to my favorite little Coke stand. The party is turning up in here. Whoa. The Coca-Cola lady just gave me a beer koozie. What is happening? They're actually selling banned merchandise this way, but the big line right here is to actually meet Switchfoot and get an autograph. That's a little shocking. Wow, they're really pulling in a crowd. That is a huge line. I'm right through these doors, and it's my first time actually in this building. I'm excited to see what's in here. Oh, wow. Holy moly. Look at this big studio right here. It's kind of cool to have all the band's merchandise, t-shirts, where you can actually get them here and then hop in the line and then they can sign them for you. I think that's kind of awesome. Going back up to the main stage and I think we have another concert happening and this one is drawing a huge crowd. starting to clear out of the central hub area and Switchfoot is going to come on and that's like the headliner and they'll be on in about 45 minutes so if we want to get a spot we've got to sneak it out now because I feel like it's going to get very crowded over here so I got a pretty good spot 
right up close to the stage. I'm a little excited and the show's gonna start in about five minutes. With that, I think I am done here tonight. Switchfoot was fantastic, and it was a great night hanging out with Jackie and Sam. So, love the life you live. See you next time. Bye!